the 2.0 litre GME T4 Hurricane Turbo engine, a 2.0 litre inline four cylinder gasoline engine, features turbocharging and direct fuel injection. This engine belongs to the Global Medium Engine, GME, family, developed by the powertrain team at Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, FCA. The engine debuted in the US market through FCA's Jeep Wrangler lineup in 2018 and became available in the Jeep Cherokee the following year. This advanced engine incorporates a sand cast aluminum cylinder block with cast iron liners and follows an open deck design, setting it apart from the closed deck configurations typically seen in European models like those by Alfa Romeo. A lightweight crankshaft with an offset from the cylinder bores helps minimize side loading on the cylinder walls, promoting smoother operation during the power stroke. This block also includes a low friction roller bearing balance shaft and a two-stage variable displacement oil pump. Under standard conditions, the pump provides low oil pressure, while a high pressure mode kicks in during high load. Oil is also supplied to piston cooling jets, which maintain piston temperature and help prevent spark knock. Each piston is crafted from cast aluminum with four valve pockets and plasma coated rings for durability. The 2.0 litre Hurricane engine combines a cast aluminum cylinder head with four valves per cylinder, sodium filled exhaust valves, centrally located fuel injectors and a DOHC multi-air valve train. High tumble intake ports and a water-cooled integrated exhaust manifold ensure efficient combustion, a low friction inverted tooth timing chain and dual variable valve timing VVT on hollow camshafts reduce weight and enhance durability. This engine employs a direct injection system with a high pressure fuel pump, 2900 PSI, delivering fuel via multi-hole nozzles for precise atomization. A twin scroll turbocharger with an electronically controlled wastegate connects directly to the water-cooled exhaust manifold, promoting optimized exhaust flow. The intake includes a water air charge cooler with dedicated cooling circuits for the turbo, throttle body and cooler and features a variable flow water pump and an auxiliary electric water pump. In some models, a belt starter generator BSG e-torque system boosts throttle responsiveness at low speeds. Emissions are managed through the GPSE4 engine management system with a close coupled catalytic converter, wide range oxygen sensor and cooled EGR, CEGR system. With a 10, one compression ratio, it runs on regular unleaded 87 octane, but performs best with 91 octane or higher. This compact turbo engine provides a powerful, efficient alternative to Chrysler's 2.4 litre and 3.6 litre Pentastar Vi 6 engines. Some owners reported check engine lights within the first few hundred to thousand miles of use. The root causes have been varied, including faulty sensors, loose hoses or connectors, indicating early production assembly issues. This is somewhat typical for new engines with complex designs, and many issues are expected to improve as quality control measures strengthen over time. Turbo lag is a common complaint, particularly in higher gears, where throttle response may feel delayed. This issue can frustrate drivers accustomed to a more instantaneous response. Some owners have alleviated the problem by installing aftermarket throttle boosters to enhance responsiveness. Additionally, with a towing capacity capped at around 2,500 pounds, the 2.0 litre turbo engine may not be ideal for heavy duty towing, falling short compared to Jeep's V6 and V8 options. The maintenance requirements for the 2.0 litre GME T4 turbo engine are higher than those for naturally aspirated engines. To ensure longevity, it requires regular oil changes and premium grade fuel, which may add to long-term upkeep costs. Additionally, Jeep owners have noted that certain parts, such as turbo components and electronics, are pricey to replace if they fail. Some owners have reported higher than expected oil consumption in the 2.0 litre turbo engine, especially in older models or those with higher mileage. Oil leaks, particularly around the valve cover gasket and oil pan, have also been noted in certain cases. 
Regular oil level checks and maintenance can help mitigate this, but drivers may need to watch for leaks and consume more oil than average. The 2.0-litre GME T4 Turbo's cooling system has been another area of concern. Some drivers have reported overheating, especially during prolonged high-performance driving. The intercooler and radiator are both critical in maintaining optimal temperature for turbo engines, but inadequate cooling capacity has led to issues in certain environments or driving conditions. Regular inspection of the cooling system and proactive component upgrades can help maintain stability. As a turbocharged direct injection engine, the 2.0 litre GME T4 turbo is more susceptible to carbon buildup on intake valves over time. This can reduce performance and efficiency if not addressed. Periodic intake carbon cleaning techniques may be necessary to keep the engine running smoothly. To extend the lifespan of the 2.0 litre GME Hurricane engine, frequent oil changes, premium fuel and periodic carbon cleaning are recommended. With proper maintenance, this engine can last up to 200,000 miles or more without significant issues, though additional upkeep may be required to address its high performance needs. While not flawless, the Jeep 2.0 litre turbo engine offers a blend of power and efficiency though prospective owners should consider its specific maintenance needs and known issues for optimal performance.